Hey everyone, this is Shelly Myers with the Valley Solutions team at HomeSmart and welcome back to my channel, Life in Arizona. Today, we're going to do a Google Maps tour of Chandler, Arizona, and I'm excited to show you a couple places in Chandler. I've pinpointed a couple places that I really think are of interest or would be a lot of fun for us to talk about. So let's get to it. What I have on the screen right now is a map of Chandler, Arizona, and you can see from the red outlines here, that is the, those are the city boundaries of Chandler. Just to give you an idea of geographically how large it is, and let me scoot out here a little bit, zoom out here, and I can give you an idea of where Chandler is in relation to Phoenix and other popular destinations or cities within the Phoenix Valley. Here is Central Phoenix, here is Downtown Chandler, and when you do a map, when you do a route between these two, on average, it takes you about a half an hour between Downtown Chandler and Downtown or Central Phoenix is about a half an hour. And that is during the day when there's no rush hour or nothing that is impeding you from getting to your destination. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know one thing that I like to point out when I'm talking about a specific community is the airports. Where are the airports and how can we find them? And where are they from the destination or the city that we're talking about? And really you have two main airports to utilize when you're in the Phoenix Valley. One is the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. This is our largest airport. It has the most airlines that come in and out of it. So it's good to know where that is in relation to Chandler. So again, it's very close to downtown Phoenix or central Phoenix. So it's going to be about a half an hour on a no traffic day or light traffic day, or regular traffic day, I should say. And then, of course, we have the Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport, which is also a commercial airport, but it has fewer airlines that fly in and out. One of their major airlines is Allegiant. So if you like to fly Allegiant, you can use Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport. And again, it's a little bit closer um, to Chandler, if you are looking for a smaller airport and a quicker route to that airport from Chandler. Chandler also has its own airport. It's mostly chartered airlines or chartered flights that go in and out of there or private aircraft that go in and out of there. However, they do also have some training components or classes that they do there as well. So if you're looking, if you're interested in, in airports or aviation, it might be something to know about and to check out. The teacher in me always likes to give a little history and talk about some facts of an area that we are discussing. You're going to be not so shocked to hear that the creator or the founder of the town of Chandler his last name was Chandler. Dr. Alexander Chandler was a veterinarian surgeon who moved to the area, bought some land from the federal government, about 80 acres of land, and that became, that was the start of Chandler, Arizona. He spent a lot of time learning different irrigation techniques and really learning how a t what the what the infrastructure needs to be for a town to thrive and survive. And that is how it all began. I believe he was the first mayor of Chandler, um, sat on the city council and really was a part of of the creation of Chandler, Arizona. So enough of the history lesson, let's dive into looking at some key places or key spots in 
Chandler that you might want to check out or know about if you are thinking of making the move to Chandler. And also I want to mention, we're not going to talk specifically about neighborhoods where you might want to move because I talked about those in my last video called the top or the best five neighborhoods in Chandler, Arizona. So if you're list, interested in hearing more about specific neighborhoods in Chandler, watch that video, shoot me a text and we can chat about Chandler and the different neighborhoods that are in, in, this, in this area. I already mentioned the Chandler Airport, so let's start there. So you have the Chandler Municipal Airport is right here. And I'm gonna back out a little bit so that you can see where it is in relation to downtown Chandler, maybe central Chandler, let's think of that. And it's just right down here. And just to give you an idea of where it is, also relation to Phoenix Gateway Airport. One thing I would also like to mention about the municipal, the Chandler Municipal Airport is the Hangar Cafe. And it's a really cute little place to visit. Uh, you can get some great food there. It's not a fancy place. It's great for breakfast or lunch. Um, a lot of fun to go go there. You can see some of the airplanes, you know, taking off. Um, but again, it's a really, you can get a good meal. And it's a lot of fun to just go and, and check out it as a little bit different location than maybe you might know about. Chandler, Arizona is also really centrally located for our hikers, our hiking enthusiasts. And I pinpointed two different mountain areas, mountain preserves, and with a lot of different hiking trails on them that you could, you should know about if you want to come to Chandler, if you're thinking about moving to Chandler and want to be able to hike and be, have that outdoor or outdoor activities. So South Mountain Park and Preserve is just over here in South, what we call South Phoenix. And then we have the Santan Mountain Regional Park, which is over here in the Santan Valley area, which is, is more Southeast, farther Southeast than Chandler is from Phoenix. Both of these mountain ranges, people run on the, the trails, just hike, walk, you know, walking, hiking on the trails, but also a lot of people do mountain biking on, on the trails out here. So it's a good mix of some outdoor activities and really some beautiful, beautiful places, two beautiful places to go for a hike. If you want to know more about different parks, you're interested in that outdoor activities, but maybe you're not interested in doing some hiking. There are a ton of parks Again, Chandler is considered a very family-friendly town, community, city, and it's a great place to raise a family and gives you a chance to get outside and walk around and really just enjoy nature. So this is Desert Breeze Park, which is really a beautiful, a beautiful lit city, um, a beautiful park within Chandler, a great location. Another park to point out, I got two more that I want to showcase. This one is SV Park. If you are somebody who likes to skateboard, they do have a really big skateboarding area or, or setup out there if you are interested in skateboarding. So I always kind of like this. I always like to show this because sometimes people don't always know where those locations are and if you're interested in skateboarding or you know doing those types of um, activities it's good to know where it is and so that you can do it safely in a nice location and the last park that i want to showcase i but the ones that i what i showed to you so sb park is in northern chandler the north part of Chandler and Desert Breeze Park is in the western part of Chandler and then Veterans Oasis Park is a little bit newer um, and that is in that southeast area of Chandler. Really some beautiful views, some great um, landscaping that's out there, some beautiful, beautiful paths to walk and to maybe bike and have some time outside. 
if some if education is something that you are interested in knowing about, then I of course can provide you with links or information about the various about how it ranks. And you can, you know, learn a little bit more about the Chandler, Chandler Unified School District. And I'll show you show you some boundary maps. But one thing that I also want to point out is the Chandler Gilbert Community College. And this is their, their Pecos College uh, location campus. And Chandler Gilbert Community College is part of the Maricopa Community College system. And there's Scottsdale. Community College, Rio Salado Community College, Mesa Community College. Uh, I think there is a Glendale, um, and I can't think of the others, but there is also the Chandler Gilbert Community College. If you have children who are in the K-12 school system and you're interested in knowing more about Chandler Unified School District, it is considered a, a very good school district within Arizona, and I'll put a link in the comments or the description of the YouTube video if you're interested in researching more about Chandler Unified School District. But quickly, I just wanted to share with you some boundary maps so you get an idea of where it fits, where the boundaries are for the school district in Chandler. Warner Road is the northernmost road. There are no Chandler schools that go north of Warner. And they also fall along on the western portion is Price Road, but then the schools all go all the way out to Sosselman Road, out that far, which is fairly far east and cuts into um, some other communities. For our shoppers that are watching, there is the Chandler Fashion Center, which is a large mall, great location for lots of shops, lots of major retail shops, if you're interested in doing some shopping. And again, the teacher in me comes out and wants to talk about uh, the Chandler Center for the Arts and the museums that are in the Chandler boundaries as well. So here is the Chandler Center for the Arts. It's very close to Chandler High School, which is right next door. But if you're someone who thrives or enjoys live entertainment, it's a beautiful location. Um, really a spectacular building. If you're interested, like I said, in live entertainment, you want to know about Chandler Center for the Arts, which is very close to downtown Chandler. Chandler, it's the town itself has its own museum and also a very cool space, a very cool entity or, or place to go. And so I highly encourage you to check that out. And that also is, that's close to the mall, the Chandler Fashion Center. So it's just in the Western port portion of Chandler. Then we have the Railway Museum. And if you miss, if you, if you love the rails and talking, you know, all things train, check out my other video, the Ver Verde Canyon uh, Railway video that I did, which is, takes place up in Clarkdale up in Cottonwood area of Northern Arizona. That was a lot of fun and I highly encourage everyone to do that day trip and go up there and check it out. But here is the Arizona Railway Museum. So again, if you've got kids who really into trains um, or if you yourself are really into trains, it really could be a cool place to check out um, and very educational. Arizona, with its beautiful weather, has a ton of golf courses, and I highlighted one, which is the Acatillo Golf Course Golf Club, but there are quite a few other golf courses. There is also San Marcos, which is close to the downtown area, which has a lot of history to it. It is one of the very first buildings um, that was built in Chandler, Arizona, and could be something that you really want to check out. But there's Acatillo, there's down here, gosh, there's the Sunbird Golf Resort that's down here, Cottonwood, Sun Lakes, and just some really great locations for golfing if you're interested in going out and hitting the links. Before we finish the video, we can't, we can't end without talking about a couple restaurants 
and places to go that are unique to Arizona. And the first one we'll talk about is the Santan Brewing Company. And they have a location in downtown Chandler. And this is a local uh, brewery. And they have a couple locations throughout the valley. And again, it's just a great, great mix, a great vibe in their in their location in downtown Chandler. So I'd highly encourage you to check it out the next time you are in the area. Downtown Chandler itself has a lot, a lot of different restaurants and places and pubs as well. So it's a great place to check out if you're interested in some different food experiences and also a nice place to walk around, check out the different shops and art galleries that are in downtown Chandler as well. And I can't I can't turn this off without mentioning the tumbleweed Christmas tree that is in downtown Chandler. So it's something you should check out. They do a lighting ceremony around Thanksgiving and it is a very large tum Christmas tree that is lit and decorated and it is made out of tumbleweed. So it's really something for you to check out. Again, that's in this green space in the park area here in downtown Chandler. I love talking about downtown Chandler and checking out the different restaurants, different locations for you to hit. Before we sign off, I want to make sure that I mention the freeway and interstate access that you have from Chandler if you need to go to other parts of the valley. You have the 202. You are just shy, just south of the 60. You have the 101 coming through here, and you edge up to the, two, the 10. So again, you have a lot of interstate and freeway access through Chandler, around Chandler. So it's a great location if you need to get to other parts of the valley. So that ends my Google map tour of Chandler. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have questions about Chandler, if you'd like to set up a Zoom call and talk some more about the real estate market in Chandler, I would love to talk with you about it. I get calls and emails from people every day, just like you, who are interested in making their move to Chandler and to Arizona. And it's great. It's a lot of fun to talk about. It's a lot of fun to showcase the different areas of Arizona. So if you want to reach out and have a conversation, I'm here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.